Quick fix for water hammer pipe banging inside the walls after installing KESS or other Chinese faucets and shower systems. We installed KESS shower system during bathroom remodel and found out we had water hammer inside walls that was not present before. If you're watching this video, I don't have to tell you how annoying it is, especially during the night. Every time water is turned on and off anywhere in the house or dishwasher, washer, ice maker is running, loud banging inside the walls close to the problem faucet or shower could be heard. After searching online for hours and hours and reading horror stories where people spend up to $9,000 trying to fix it and where incompetent plumbers rip tiles, walls, replaced pipes, installed water hammer arresters, doing all kinds of work trying to fix the water hammer without success, I've decided to take it apart. Problem is caused by pressure balancing valve that has two parts, sleeve and floater inside the cartridge that moves freely left and right as inlet water pressures are changed. It is way too sensitive and bangs the cartridge walls every time when any water valve inside the house is opened or closed. One of the videos offers a solution by jamming two rubber O-rings on each side of floater inside the cartridge, but that severely restricts water flow, and I didn't like it. I've tried something similar by gluing two small pieces of rubber belt acting as bumpers inside without flow restriction, but that only lasted six months until the floater made its way through the rubber bumpers. Pressure balancing valves duty is to maintain constant temperature of the water coming out of your shower or faucet and prevent scalding. With older style mixers, water temperature would spike up from shower or faucet every time when cold water was open at the same time anywhere else in the house because of sudden cold water pressure drop. With this fix, you will lose feature of pressure balancing because floating part of the valve that causes banging when hitting the body of the valve will be permanently disabled by gluing it together. We did not experience any noticeable water temperature spikes during the showers, but use this at your own discretion. Hope you see this video before money was wasted and walls are ripped. This is the nightmare cartridge. Here you can see and hear floater hitting the walls and that clicking noise will be amplified and heard loudly as a water hammer. We're gonna take it apart now. Now you can see the sleeve and floater moving. Here you can see the sleeve and floater. Take the floater out and scuff the surfaces to be glued with sandpaper inside of the sleeve and outside of the floater. I'm using two part epoxy since super glue only held it for two months. I only apply glue on the outer sides of assembly. Make sure Holds on sleeve and floater are aligned to allow for unrestricted water flow. Here is glued valve and rattling is gone. Thank you for watching this video and hope this solves your problem.